Well done again today. You just, just put in a good performance for Ipswich and the team played really well. So. No, I thought so. I thought we did. We had to dig in deep for that one, especially the, the, the way the game started. I mean, they came out the traps flying and they played some nice football. Uh, but credit to us, I think. I think we, we rolled it out and we played some good stuff, stuff ourselves, and probably could have scored a couple more as well. Mm -hmm. And another couple of goals for Bobby that we've just spoken to. He seemed to come on in the game after they switched sides as well. And well, that's it. Eh? Sometimes you've got to do that in the in the game. Uh, and we've got players that are pretty versatile, so. Sometimes just a wee change, a wee change of position helps. Could be down to who you're playing against, or just the way the way things are going. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. But no, no, I'd agree with that. I think it worked. Like so, it's good for us as a team to have that sort of change, change to happen. And you, you've had to be patient this season, waited, waited until your chance, and then you've got, you know, you've got back in and sort of playing, playing more regularly. So, ah, that's right, that's right. It's been, it's been quite difficult. Um, I started off playing it that season in the cups and stuff like that, and then. I've had a wee change of formation and uh, I found myself on the bench, but it was a hard one for me. The boys were doing so well that it's not as if I could say, listen, how am I not playing, you know what I mean? The evidence was there to, to see. Uh, everybody's done well. Uh, so I never got a wee bit fortunate, uh, misfortune on what was, what was behalf that he's, he's dropped out and I have just stepped in. Uh, so I've got to, Got to keep doing well. Yeah. And you brought you brought your coaching academy up here earlier in the week. I mean, I know you've spoken about it in the past, but that, that yeah. seems to be growing all the time. Your coaching academy. Aye, aye. Uh, so it was a good day on Wednesday. Um, but that, the the weather was ridiculous. It was horrible, horrible conditions. You know, having five year olds out in that out in that weather and not having one uh, moan or one complaint is, is is brilliant. And the kids seem to enjoy it as much as us. We had Bobby along as well, so it's. It was something new for him, uh, but it's something he took in his stride. Um, it's great with the kids, you know what I mean? So it's good for it's good for them to go and get close to, to Bobby, being the fans' favourite and all that sort of thing. I've been reading reading that you're, the, the, you've got links, the club's got links now, the academy's got links now in Mexico as well. As the, um... Aye, that's right, aye. So that happened a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I've got a coach over there now. He's over there for six weeks and just getting a feel for the place and seeing what it's all about. Um, so all it is, it's just a, it's a partnership with, with two academies and we're going to we've put an academy in place, like a structured academy in place, it's, it's going to be like a feeder into, into the Mexican academy. Um, so that will kick off properly in January. Is, are you going to go out there yourself at some stage? Or I'm not, I'm hoping, to, I'm hoping to get over it at some point, maybe maybe in the summer or something, and just see what it's all about and make sure, make sure everything's going fine and my coaches are getting looked after. But... Um, it's in good hands. Scotty, who's away over now, is a good lad. He's been in a bit, in a bit Golden Grey for two years now, so he knows the way we work, and he's, he's brilliant. I've been there, been there with somebody else. Be, uh, so, uh, I was going to say you, the sort of style of player that you have as an individual. That sort of I think I believe what you teach at Golden Grey, and I think the fans really enjoy sort of when you you know either slide in for a tackle, win the ball, and then you sort of that sort of little bit of sort of turn that you have that not many other players perhaps have that same style as you in the leagues and you sort of I know that the fans certainly enjoy it and I think it you know it helps sort of speed up I mean you know move a break forward yeah no I've always sort of considered myself as a as a technical player especially growing up I've always been the sort of smaller slight boy not really being very physical but when you when you're playing in league one and league two and sometimes you've got to dig in uh, so I've tried to add that side of my game, the, the tackle and the aggression or the physical side of thing, to my game as much as possible. Uh, so. But you then still have that skill in your locker to sort of then, you know, break away and leave your the defender on the ground, sort of. No, I think that's important and I, I know what you're saying. Um, that's the whole philosophy behind my academy. That's the way I think it should be, should be done. It's about trying to get the kids as comfortable as possible from the earliest stage. And it's not really about positions or anything like that. Like, Get them comfortable with the, the left foot, the right foot. Um, just make them a, an all-round footballer before before they get to an age where you then say that, that you're this position now. You know I, mean? I think that's important. Mm -hmm. And you start, started us academy at quite a relatively young age for a, for a football player to, to start that. I mean, was, was they thinking that, that that will grow almost beyond your football career when you end up playing your foot or something? Well, that, that, <laughs> I know it's a long way away, but it's... it's is it that kind of like put something in place that, that's behind you? But well, that's a goal, that's a dream. Yeah. Uh, I didn't realise it would kick off as fast, as, as, fast as it did, but uh, it has. 
Um, and I couldn't be, couldn't be happy with the way things have went, to be honest with you. Yeah. And you mentioned you had a few, in the past you had a few sort of, like I think of Lee Griffiths kids there and, and a few sort of footballers. Aye, that's right. Um, so we've got a few of them. Uh, we've got Danny Swanson as well, who's now at St Johnson. He sends two of his kids along. Um, we had Jamie Walker and stuff like that, who's had to, the event had to move on, obviously. But no, the, they believe in the way the, the way that a coach and philosophy behind Golden Grey, and uh, they, they see the benefits for the, on their own kids as well, so that's why, that's why they bring them. Well, cheers and thanks, thanks so much. Great performance. Thank you. Thank you.